Hey everybody, Rich with Prep U, out here in the family room, hanging out with the pups. Today, I want to talk to you about, and we've talked about this in videos, oh man, <clears throat> a couple years ago. Uh, but what we're talking about today is your vehicle winter survival <clears throat> kit. This is not your vehicle kit. This is not the kit that you have in there every day. It's always in there, no matter if it's spring, summer, winter, fall, autumn, whatever you want to call it. Obviously, that kit, you're going to make some changes between summer and winter based on some of the things that you carry. Basically, uh, your water, you're going to you know, switch out from your, uh, your Mylar bags of water that are in the winter that uh, don't, if they do freeze, they don't burst. Uh, to probably a canned water. Remember, you don't want plastic water in your, in your car at all because of the heat and all that. But what I'm talking about is your winter or your winter vehicle survival kit. All right, this is kind of important, especially for those of you uh, that, say, live in uh, the city, suburbs, quasi-suburbs, urban area, and you drive to work, um, this is what this is what you need in your car especially if you're in an area that has winter weather and i don't care if it's ice snow sleet heavy rains this is something that you need and we're going to go over this a uh, quick story um years ago before the kids came along uh my wife worked downtown uh took the train downtown she wore gym shoes or boots every day of her life going downtown uh her good shoes because she was in uh, professional banking uh with some very high high-end client clients and stuff so she had to look really good she had to have really good clothes well they had closets down there that the girls would keep and also a desk drawer that they would keep their really nice shoes shoes that were you know good for several different outfits and stuff like that she never wore her good shoes to and from the train and then from the train home again. Uh, she always had uh, boots and or tennis shoes. And that was out of necessity. Now, she was ready for the weather. People driving in the car, think about what you wear. Say you, you, know, you work in the city. Even if you take uh, public transport, transportation, excuse me. Look at what you wear. What's on your feet? What's on your back? What's on your head? Uh, a lot of times there's not stuff on your head because you don't want your hair all messed up because you want to look good, which is absolutely stupid because everybody else, wherever you're at, you know, Chicago's winters are horrible. Uh, Michigan, Minnesota, everybody's going to have messed up hair. Carry a comb, but you need to keep your head and your feet warm. Oh, hi, Lil. Um, so look at what you're wearing and look at how you can upgrade it. OK, um, this is what we're talking about here. This obviously works in your car if you are uh, you know, commuting, trains, uh, anything. Hold on. Come on, honey. Ugh, come on, old girl. There you go. Um, it's going to be hard to have some of this stuff, but there is a way to do it. If you work in an office, again, you could have boots. Uh, I look back a few years ago when the snows were so bad in Chicago that people just left their cars on Lakeshore Drive and walked. Well, they didn't walk very far because they had their patent leather shoes on or they had high heels on or even just tennis shoes on. Um, a simple plastic bag, a couple of plastic bags in your car with rubber bands is going to protect yourself. So if you have gym shoes or something like that, just be careful. It's going to be slippery, but just plastic bags with rubber bands, you know, not one, maybe two or three of them to keep your feet from getting wet. Um, it also will retain some of the heat. This is the stuff I keep in my car. I have two different kinds of boots here. These are just Eddie Bauer. These are a, just a, a rubber boot with a sealed outside. Um, it's great for water. It's great for snow, obviously not much water, but a little bit. Uh, these are hiking boots that I wore several times to film on uh, Scott Ranch in New Mexico. They're great. They're broken in. That's another thing. When you buy stuff like this, make sure you wear it around. Make sure you break it in. You don't want to, you know, get it out and have to go three, four miles uh, the first time you wear it. 
this is what's in my car. My wife has a kit just like this in her car. And if we go anywhere, if we know snow is coming, which today New York got hit, Pennsylvania got hit, uh, Tuesday Chicago is supposed to get hit, and it's supposed to be uh, just a horrible mix uh, upwards of uh, six, seven, eight inches of rain and snow mix. So it's just going to be ungodly. Traffic's going to be horrible. People can't drive in Chicago or in the suburbs or anywhere uh if the sun's shining, let alone if, it, if it's snowy or stuff. So let, let's go over this real quick. I don't want to belay the, the point too much, but you got your boots. Um, if you live out in Montana, Minnesota, uh, Nebraska, or whatever, you get why these are in here. Okay. When it's snowing and you get stuck somewhere and it is uh, blizzard-like conditions, these are slightly polarized. You can put these on. You can actually see where you're going. So, uh, snow blindness is a thing. If you've ever been out there, if you've ever skied with non-polarized lenses, you know what I'm getting at. These are a must. I always keep these uh, because I never know where I'm going to be. I never know if I'm going uh, ice fishing in, in uh, Wisconsin or uh, Minnesota at, at a moment's notice with friends of mine. Uh, I don't know where, you know, where I'm going to be. These also will keep your eyes from freezing. Uh, your eyes tear up with the wind. It'll keep them from freezing. Obviously, you're going to want to have one, maybe two pairs of good gloves. Okay. These have little zippers in them. These actually uh, have money inside and important phone numbers that I carry with me. Uh, a hat. I know you're saying socks. Oh, yeah, well, I love the socks. You want to have a winter hat, extra socks. Now, depending on what you're wearing, this is, these are ski pants. This is my ski wear. As you can tell, there's uh, tags on them. But you got a nice pair of ski boots or ski pants. And then on top of that, underneath here, here's my ski jacket. Okay. Yeah, this is all coming out of this nice little bag, okay? There's my ski pants and a bunch of dirt coming out too. Uh, under here or in here, a blanket. A blanket is a must, okay? Uh, some people automatically have a blanket in their car, especially if you have kids. When we had kids, we had a lot of blankets. My wife's car has a whole bag of blankets and, and pillows for the grandkids. All right, so there's that. Here is a couple extra pair of underwear, a couple extra t-shirts, some bandanas, uh, just because. As we keep going through this, you can see we kind of, we double up on a lot of stuff. Okay, balaclavas, right there, uh, for the, just goes around the neck under the, sh under the shirt uh, and up to the hat. Here is a, a full one, you can see. Really nice for weather. These, all these are, are just uh, lightweight uh, scarves for around the neck. Good for year round, too. In this pouch, the last pouch we'll pull out is I always have extra socks, liners. My feet sweat. They don't stink, thank goodness. At least my wife says they don't. But that's it. That's everything. Okay, right inside this little bag. Obviously, <clears throat> this bag is not going to have uh, water, knife, uh, flashlights, and stuff like that. This is just the winter survival kit, okay, because the other kit that's in my car and the uh, everyday carry uh, has a backup to the backup to the backup. So that's it. This is just quick and simple, just a reminder for you what you need. Uh, you got to look at your situation. Where are you? What would you be in if winter hit? Um, uh, and yes, winter can be interesting. Sometimes you've watched the weather channel, you know, what's coming, but sometimes you're here and it's only supposed to hit down here. And then that just kind of goes up and you get hit and you've got nothing. So this is something that doesn't take up a lot of room, uh, but something that you can have, uh, in your vehicle, uh, to be able to survive the winter, at least get home. Uh, there's a couple of videos that I have out there actually shows me all bundled up. I left my car at school. Uh, I only live about two miles from school, but I was actually able to put this stuff on uh, and make it home. And I kind of, the video is me coming home, kind of talking to y'all about 
uh, what you need to wear. So there you go. This is your winter vehicle survival kit. So thanks a lot for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, subscribers, thank you. And uh, hope you have a stay warm, stay safe uh, this winter season, no matter where you live. And uh, prep like your diet depends on it. And always be aware of your surroundings. Check the, uh, the weather channels and stuff like that. And make sure you have extra food. Uh, chocolate's great, especially dark chocolate and stuff like that. Um, some uh, crackers and some sausage and cheese, if you can, in your car uh, in case you get stuck somewhere and can't go anywhere. So that's it. I'm going to get up because my little clicker's not working. Go figure to uh, turn off my camera. So you all can take a look at this stuff, why I'm coming around to shut it off. Thanks a lot, subscribers. Thank you. We really appreciate it. And goodbye.